and what that essentially would get you would be the airframe. And to compare what you'd be getting versus cost, if you were to order the kit directly from Zen Air, it'd be $16,485, essentially, what you're getting. You'd still require, in addition to that, the gears, cabin, control, fuel system kit, and then plus any firewall forward. And uh, one caveat to my parts list is that I haven't included the AN hardware or any of the steel hardware uh, and such. It's just the sheet aluminum stock was uh, always basing that on. So to talk uh, final completion price, again, it's a very subjective number. These are just my estimates based on what I think uh, you could build the plane for. You can always spend as much money as you want to on an aircraft. But I estimate that a resourceful person in the right situation with all the right tools, live perhaps next to an aluminum distributor that could save on shipping, could build this aircraft for as little as the mid-30s. But I believe that the average builder is going to spend between 75 and 80, and then, again, all the way on up uh, above 100,000 if uh, you want all the toys, bells and whistles, and go with a quick build kit. Uh, my personal budget, I'm, I'm planning on spending no more than uh, 65000 If you browse a list today of kit aircraft available that are all aluminum four place, you'll come across three kits, the 801, the 640, and the RB10. And because the 640 is a low wing, it gets compared to the RB10 often by people who aren't familiar with the CA640. And uh, it's actually like trying to compare a Ford Explorer to a Porsche Cayenne. They're two aircraft in completely different leagues, it would easily cost at least double uh, to complete an RV-10 uh, to that compared to the CH-640. To go to more of an apples-to-apples -apples comparison, let's compare the CH-640 with the Piper Archer 3. Just because the configuration is the same low-wing, four-place aircraft built around 180 horsepower, you can see here the numbers and how they compare. Now, again, uh, one might say, well, hey, the Archer is a certified aircraft. It might be a little more refined, leather interior, garment stack. And sure, you can do all that with the C640, uh, spending as much as you want to. Okay, Chris Hines set up uh, different companies across North America and Europe. And just uh, refer to the map here to talk about the North American divisions, which are run by uh, different kids of Chris Hines. Zen Air is in Midland, Ontario on Canada, and they are the ones who distribute the plans and the kits for the CH-640, uh, along with the 801 and the float kits. Zenith Aircraft Company down in Mexico, Missouri, they do the 750, 701, 601, 650. And then AMD in Eastman, Georgia, they've since been acquired by another company, so uh, they are no longer doing the CH-2000 or uh, the CH-640s. So if you do decide to buy either plans or kit for, for the CH640, it will come from Zen Air out of Canada. In closing, I'll uh, leave you with this quote from Chris's new book. And just the fact that the CH640 is based on a Part 23 certified aircraft alone should be enough uh, to warrant further investigation for those of you who aren't familiar with this aircraft. I am not aware of another kit airplane that is based on a Part 23 certified uh, machine, so that is a very significant undertaking. And if uh, you have any other questions, please uh, shoot me an email or a message, and I'd be happy to answer them. There will be more uh, videos to follow as I go through my build process, and I post those online as well.